Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be looking at the DST or Daylight Savings Time settings on our Casio G-Shock GW7900 watch. This is module 3193 from Casio. So if we look at the date, it's March 17th on my watch. My time is off by one hour. I was supposed to spring forward a couple days ago. That did not happen here. That's a dead giveaway that I've got my DST setting incorrect. Now I'm going to show you how to correct that. Now this is an atomic watch, so as long as you have your home city set correctly and you have your DST setting set correctly, the watch should automatically spring forward or fall back for you at the given times. In my case it did not, so we need to go look at that setting. From our main watch face, we can look and see whether we are in daylight savings time or not. You will see an indicator on the watch face to let you know when daylight savings is on. Let's go to that setting. We're going to start by pressing and holding the top left button on the watch. That's the adjust button. When you press and hold it, it'll take you into the settings for the watch. Hold it for a couple seconds, and you should start seeing your home city blinking up at the top here. That lets you know that you're in your settings. The very first setting you can adjust is your home city. The first thing with your daylight savings time is not just jumping into the daylight savings time, it's make sure that your home city is set correctly. There are certain home cities that will not receive a DST signal and will not reset themselves for daylight savings. So you want to make sure you have this set correctly. In my case, it's set correctly. All I'm going to do is I'm going to press the mode button one time. The next setting that you get to is your DST setting. You can see in my case, it is off. I can press the start or stop button to toggle through the different values. Now watch what happens when I press start and stop and it goes to on. You'll notice that my hours have moved forward. I have now adjusted my DST setting. If I press it one more time, it goes to auto. Auto is going to do the same thing. So the difference between on and auto is on means I've turned on daylight savings time. But whenever daylight savings time is over, I have to manually go in and turn it off. Off would mean the daylight savings time is not on. Auto would mean the watch is going to set itself using my home city and receiving an atomic signal to adjust the daylight savings settings. That's why when we went and switched to auto, it did not change my time because the watch knows that based on my home city and based on the date, my time is set correctly for daylight savings time. So in most cases, you're going to want this set to auto unless you're in an area that does not absorb, absorb daylight savings time or if you're in an area that will not receive the atomic signal. I'm going to leave it set to auto. Once I'm done, all I'm going to do is simply press the adjust button and I've successfully changed my daylight savings time value on the watch. It's hard to see, but if you look in this top left corner just above my PM indicator, you should see an indicator that says DST. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that with my camera, but that tells me that I've got daylight savings time on. Pretty simple stuff. It's pretty similar to a lot of the other Casio watches that are out there, but that's how you adjust the DST setting on the GW7900 watch. I hope the video helps.